So today we're going to be learning about how to take the area of a triangle using trig. Um, it's actually a relatively straightforward formula. The only way it works though is if you have two sides and an angle. So in the past you learned how to find the area of a triangle. You used to do one half the base times the height, um, but they were lying to you a majority of the time. That's actually one of the least used formulas in math. The most common way to find the area of a triangle is the way we're doing today. So this is a formula you have to memorize. The area of a triangle formula is area equals one half AB sine C. And what that's saying is that area is equal to one half, two side lengths, and then the sine of the angle. So this only works when you have a side, an angle, and a side. So for instance, in this image to the right, I have side A and side B. Right in the middle, I have that angle C. So you need to have a side, a side, and an angle smack dab in the middle. And this is a formula you have to memorize. So we're gonna apply this formula down here in this example where we wanna find the area of the triangle ABC. So the first question we have to ask ourselves is, do I have two sides? I look at my image, I got a 10, I got a 12, perfect. Do I have an angle in between them? Yep, it's a 72. So we just rewrite our formula. Area equals one half AB sine C. So I get one half, my 10 and my 12, it doesn't matter where I put them. And then I do the sine of that angle. If you're doing this on Desmos, if you're doing this on your own calculator, you need to make sure that that mode is in degrees. This is not radians. So when I type this out into my calculator, I'm going to round out to one decimal place. I get 57.1 centimeters squared. That's my area. What I would do is, since this is just a relatively straightforward formula, I would actually attempt the next two questions by yourself. Um, or if you're still struggling, you can watch me do them and you can sort of like follow along and write them out on your paper, but I would definitely recommend you try one by yourself. Um, so if you want to try this question by yourself, I'm going to leave it right here. You can hit pause or you can just go through and watch. So the first thing I need to ask myself is I need to, well, first need to rewrite my formula. I'll use the color red for this question. I want to find the area of this triangle right here. I know that area is equal to one half AB sine C. I have a side, I have a side, and I have an angle in between those sides. So I get area equals one half. Doesn't matter where I put those sides as long as I put them there. And then the sine of 123. We just type this into our calculator. And after I type that into my calculator, I actually get a big, big, big number. I get 14,529.97. I'm just gonna round out to two decimal places and that's meters squared. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next example, zero. Nine. So right now it says, <clears throat> use your graphing calculator to find the following sign values. Um, this isn't multiple choice. You actually have to type this out into your calculator. It wants us to look at the sign of 175. Let's look at the sign of 175 and the sign of five. I just type those into my calculator for the sine of 175, I get 0 0.08 or point. After rounding, I now type in the sine of five and I get the exact same answer. I get 0 0.09. Just a heads up, if you're doing this on your own calculator, you're gonna see 0 0.08715574277. That's very long for me to write out. So I'm just gonna round. I'm going to ask you right now, what do you notice about these two numbers? Are they the same or are they different? Well, you guessed it. They're equal to each other. So when it says right here, what do you notice? 
you should notice that 175 plus 5 equals 180. So sine of x equals sine of y when x plus y equals 180. And you're basically going to be doing a few of those examples later on. So for instance, I can say that the sine of 90 is equal to the sine of 90. I can say that the sine of 30 is equal to the sine of 150. Um, you're going to be doing some practice with that later on in the independent practice. You simply add up and set equal to 180. They are supplementary. Okay. We have a challenge problem down here. We want to find the area of triangle RST. The first thing we do is we write down area equals one half AB sine C. I look at my image. I got a side. I got a side. But here's the issue. What's missing at T? You guessed it, the angle. But here's the best part. I got an angle here and an angle here. That angle down below is a 38 and a 123. I know there are 180 degrees in a triangle. So I do 38 plus 123. That gives me 161. I now take that away from 180 and I get 19. That means my angle at T is 19 degrees. So I'm going to put that in. I'll put that in in green for good. So now I look at my picture. I got a 6, I got a 5, and I got an angle in between. That's what I need. So I go to my formula. I do area equals 1 half my 6 and my 5. And now I do the sine of 19. Again, I just type this into my calculator, and I get I get 4.8835 or I can just write it out as 4.9 units squared. And that's your final answer. So what I would do right now is if you are stuck with this lesson, I would go through, watch this video one or two more times. It's very, very short. Make sure you work on your independent practices that are due by Friday night. Um, also, make sure that you post one question or one noticing that you have after watching this video. Um, I'll zoom out. That way you can look at the full page just one more time. And again, always reach out to myself or Miss Kimmick if you have any questions. Remember, don't forget, post your notice in, and you have a test coming up on Friday. Tomorrow you'll be working on your review sheet. Have a great day, ladies.